Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to write prime number logic using a function. So in program 8, we learned prime number logic without using function. So I'm going to modify the same program that we have written in program 8 and I will be creating a function to do that logic, right? As always, you can use editor of your choice and I'm going to use Visual Studio Community Edition, okay? So let me open the program 8 that I have written to check whether the number is a prime or not. So this is the program that we have written. And first variable declaration, we read the value from the user and we are checking from number 2 to less than input. In case if it is divisible by any number, we are breaking it there and we are checking if the i value is equal to input. That means that no number divided the value. So this loop uh, reached input value. So that means that there is no number that divides the given number. So it's a prime number. If it breaks in the middle somewhere, that means that some number divided it. So these two values will not be equal in that case. So we are printing it's not a prime number, right? So now what we are going to do is we are going to modify this program and we are going to create a function. So first up, when you're using function, let me modify this purpose. So prime number check using function, done. So now what we will do is, the first step we need to do is function declaration. So we will be declaring, I'm going to check using a Boolean function. So I'm going to write bool and I'm going to write is prime number. So normally we can, so I'm going to write here is prime number and I will pass the number for this as parameter int input. So this is a function declaration. So now I will check whether the number is a prime or not by sending the number as parameter and inside this method I'm going to write the logic and after that I will return true if it's a prime number else I will return false if it's not a prime number, right? So we will write the logic for this now. So we are done with the function declaration. Now we will do function definition. So we need to give exactly the same way. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add the function definition for it. And now, now what we have to do is I'm going to write the logic. So here I'm going to write this for loop and control X, I'm going to cut it and I just pasted it here. Now I need to declare this variable int i and from i equals 2 to input and if it's break now what I'm going to do is if so if uh, the same logic that I'm going to reuse it here as well so I'm going to copy this control x that's cut and I just wanted to paste it here so if i reach the input value that means that no number divided it so that means that it's a prime so return true else if somewhere the value got divided so it will break without reaching the input value so that means that it is not a prime value so return false now now you can see here so this is a method that takes parameter and calc and does the logic and returns if it's a boolean or if it's a prime number or not now what we have to do is we need to call so now enter a number so now the logic is now i'm going to write here now let's say this. So I will be writing here as is prime number. So let's write this. So we are reading in the number and we need to call it, right? Now let's say this. So I will be writing here if, if is prime number of input. So this is called a function call. So I'm going to write Concept. So printf, printf person d is is a prime number, and I will be writing in case of person d I need to print input, right? Else, printf I can write here person d is not a prime number, and comma input. So we are done. So the benefit of creating a function is that you can call any number of times. So functions are more uh, portable and reusable. And uh, so this function is dedicated for checking if the number is prime number or not, right? 
So in object-oriented programming, functions play a great role for reusability. And now let's run this and let's see. I'm going to execute this. Let's see if it works or not. Now it is showing me enter any number. I'm going to enter 13, which is a prime number. You can see here 13 is a prime number. And now let's execute this once again and give a normal non-prime number. Let's give 100. So you can see 100 is not a prime number, right? So I hope you are clear with this. Thanks for watching. And do remember to subscribe for more videos and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.